Hey, what's up guys? It's Steve's MacFix, and today's video is an experiment. And this experiment is this. You see this thing here? This is a micro SDHC card, which is a high capacity card. And this is actually 16 gigabytes, right? And I wanted to use something on my MacBook. One of the newest features that everyone's gloating about actually is, wow, it has an SD card slot. Big deal. <laughs> I really don't even use it too often. Um, when it's for a camera, I just plug in my camera. When it's for my video camera, I just plug in the video camera. Um, so, yeah, I don't really make use of the SD card slot. And I said, let's make use out of it. Let's boot Snow Leopard. Well, let's install Snow Leopard on an SDHC card. And it's possible because um, I think Snow Leopard's minimal requirements, I think, are 6 to 7 gigabytes of open space. This is 16. So I said, ah. Uh, let's just do this so here's my hypothesis first of all though don't rate on how good of a quality running snow leopard off an SD card slot is because it's going to be sluggish so that's what my first hypothesis is it's going to be really slow it's not going to be all that I wouldn't run it ever I just wanted to see if it was possible um, if you want to run it <laughs> off an external drive you might want to use a firewire cable rather than an SD card but let's make use of the SD card slot so yeah, that's that there. So we're going to need the SD card slot, an adapter, and yeah, and the Snow Leopard disk, which is already running there. Okay, so I'm going to install it now. Um, I'm going to, what do you call it, switch to a different camera because once I do install it, it's not going to record anymore. So um, here we go. Let's go ahead and get started, um, and I'll see you on my camcorder. Okay, so here is actually my SD card. That's where to go. It's right there. Okay, and that's the high capacity card. And here it is here on my desktop. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, just to prove it, I don't know if you can see this, but. Here it says uh, 16 gigs. Let's see if it'll focus. It is a card, as you can see, and it is 16 gigs. Actually, 15.6. All right. Sorry for the for the mess. Okay, so we do have an SD card right there, and yeah, let's go ahead and install it. I'm going to press install Snow Leopard. I'm going to press continue. I agree. I'm going to show all this. I'm going to put it in the SD card slot as it shows there. And I'm going to press install. Then I'm going to press install here. Ask for my name, and here we go. <laughs> right now, it's actually saying it's going to take um, approximately 42 minutes. That actually surprises me because I think it would take actually longer, but. Yeah, it is a clean install, so there is nothing on it. On a clean install on a regular hard drive that's inside your Mac, it takes about 30 minutes, so it is taking about 15 minutes approximately, a little than 15 minutes longer. So, yeah, uh, it's, it's working. Okay, so here we are, three minutes to install. Um, let's get into some of the details here. Um, as you can see, it says actually about a minute left and we're installing <laughs> Mac OS X on an SD card right there. Okay, so here we are installed. Um, it has to restart. OK, 
Okay, so here we are booting up after it has been installed. Wow. I really hope this has been on my regular hard drive. I'm just nervous about that, but it's supposedly running. Okay, so I'm going to do the whole setup procedure here. Um, I'm going to go to the United States and all that good stuff. I'll set it up and I'll continue recording after that, all right? Okay, so here I am running Snow Leopard off an SD card. This is kind of funny, actually. And it's actually running pretty decent. Um, let's see this. Let's go to Untitled, which is the SD card. And I'm going to press Get Info, just to prove it to you guys. So here I am with an SD card, right? And then I have the volume which is uh, capacity of 15.64 gigabytes right uh, there and available is only 5.66 gigabytes and on that card here is the folder itself as you can see it says here I'm on untitled one and has all my applications my library my system and my users <clears throat> let's just do a quick test on something um, let's run Safari. Let's do some multitasking. Wow. <laughs> well, let's just go to Google on this one real quick. It actually runs pretty good. <laughs> I'm actually shocked, actually. So, this is iCal. I have absolutely nothing on it. And it loads pretty well, actually. I'm, I am shocked. Um, let's see. Mail shouldn't be set up at all. Welcome to mail and setup. I don't want to do that. Um, photo booth. This is interesting. I might just keep this. <laughs> there you go. Me and my camcorder. It's working. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, here it is working, just to prove to you that it is working. I'm going to, this is my wallpaper right now, right? I'm going to shut down here. I'm going to restart and go into my regular operating system. So here we go. Restart. I'm going to option into <laughs> just to prove to you the three different or the two different uh, operating systems. So we have the Snow Leopard disk here. We have <clears throat> the SD card and then my Macintosh HD. I'm going to go ahead and select that one there. So remember, I had the default Snow Leopard wallpaper, and now I should have, <laughs> hopefully nothing's messed up, but I should have my, uh, my Duck Hunt wallpaper. And there it is. So here we are. I have my untitled card here. As you can see, that's the Snow Leopard card. Here it is right here. I'm going to take it out. Snow Leopard on a micro SDHC card. There you go.